Yes, uh, Harshika, what was her experience the second time? Yeah, so she just decided to forget the address. Do you think it would have been easy for her to forget the address? But then in the end, she says that of all the things that she had to forget, it would be the easiest, right? What other things uh, were there that she had to forget? Memories of her family, memories of the things that were there, right? Yes, uh, right. So her house, of course, it was not uh, 46 Markany Street. That was not the address of her house. Remember that. So her address is somewhere else. Okay, right. And how does she console herself that why I don't need all these things? I don't require so much of, uh, you know, things here. What is the consolation that she gives to herself? Yes, it would not fit in a rented room. It was a small space. And uh, yes, so what was it like? It was not something very big and spacious, but a small room. What was there still on the windows? There was that blackout paper. What is that for? What are blackouts during war? Why blackout? Yes, so that... Uh, you know, the light uh, it does not, and people, the, they're not aware that it is a residential area, right? To save lives. So that is the purpose of the blackouts, right? And uh, yes, here, if uh, you have read about it, you know, like uh, there would be there when uh, the uh, enemy planes would be sighted. Uh, so there were these sirens or these people they were told about. So either they had to go indoors or those shelters were made, you know, some places had been identified as uh, shelters where people had to go and hide themselves till the bombing or the air raids were over. So you can imagine how difficult life is during the war and uh, post-war also. Yes, let's do the questions here. Have you come back, said the woman? I thought that no one had come back. Does this statement give some clue about the story? If yes, what is it? Have you come back? I thought no one had come back. What do these two lines tell us about? Why does she say that I thought no one had come back? It explains a surprise when she saw this uh, young lady there standing right in front of her, where was she not uh, supposed to come back from? From the war, she went to participate in the war? No. So her family had, uh, you can say, sought a shelter or they were taken away. And she's very surprised at how she has come back alive, considering the horror tales uh, that uh, we have heard. So it's very, you know, yes, lucky that she came back. So how does it tell about the story? It is about here that we are very surprised to find people surviving the horrors of war, right? So it tells us, yes, so she was not expecting her to come back alive, right? And yes, only she was the one who came back. The story is divided into pre-war and post-war times. What hardships do you think the girl underwent during these times? Pre-war. What is the setting of this story? Is it pre-war or post-war? Post-war. And what are the problems do you think she faced here during the pre-war times? What about pre-war? What uh, were the feelings and uh, emotions that she went through? Yes, of always that scare or you can see that fear. Yes, that uh, right, uh, the forces might come and take them away. Then of course, the fear of loss of her near and dear ones, what is going to be the consequence of this war? She's afraid of that. Yes. 
No, I thought you're going to give me an answer. Yes, anybody else? What pre-war uh, feelings? The news there of people being taken away, reaching them, wondering what is going to be their fate. So that feeling of uh, fear and suspense, worrying always, right? Now, post-war, what feelings are there post-war? So, Mani, will you behave? Is this how you pass around things? Now, let no one ask your opinion. Keep quiet. Nalin, tell me about the post-war feelings which we have discussed in detail in this chapter. Can you tell me? Don't go grumble, grumble, grumble behind your mask. Okay? So I can hear you properly. What? Now tell me. Yes, uh, tell me the post-war feelings. Hindi? What would her feelings be? She survived the war. She is a survivor, but she is a loser also. What has she lost? Family, right? So how is she going to feel at that moment? Yes? Loss, alone, helpless. What is the future going to look like uh, for her? Sit down. Dark, bleak, right? Yes, so she is uh, very uncertain. And do you think uh, at that moment uh, she was feeling strong or weak? Weak. Because naturally to survive uh, such a big loss, if people are there around you to help overcome the situation, it becomes much easier, right? So facing uh, this uh, battle alone, the war is over, but the battle is on, right? The battle is still there. So she has a long way to go before she becomes strong and yes, overcome her losses. This is Akshat. What's your name? You're Akshat. Don't come on the front bench, please. Come here. Yes. Next is, why did the narrator of the story want to forget the address? Yes, Dipan should tell me. Why did the narrator of the story want to forget the address? She wanted to move on. Why? Try. Yes, over here, Asta. Akshat, silence. Let me hear what she has to say. Yes. Yes, so she felt as if uh, the valley, uh, you know, the memory has been spoiled. And yes, those things, they will not have that kind of an emotional value, right? So she thought that it is better that I just forget. Although she would not be able to forget her near and dear ones. But yes, uh, she would not want those things back in her life. It will bring back the painful memories, okay? Right? Now, the address is a story of human predicament that follows war. Very, very important question. Human predicament that follows war, the condition of humans, right, after the war. Is it true? Yes. So, of course, we have discussed in detail that how, right, after the war, we have to 
overcome the losses uh, your financial loss emotional loss right and uh, yeah how you have to bring your life on track right and yes here it is uh, once again if uh, someone like this young girl how she must have undergone those horrors is it easy to forget that so how long it is going to forget the scars which are there right of the memories of the concentration camp maybe it was could be one of the most terrible memories that one can have right it's even worse than being a part of the war it's a constant reminder that you are being targeted for whom you are right for no fault of yours just because people are prejudiced people have this hatred and you are being targeted and you are suffering because of that so what about that emotional recovery takes a long time so when you have uh, gone through this uh, kind of an abuse or this kind of uh, behavior it is going to take a long time to recover okay come on give me a book and let me give you some questions let's uh, get back into the routine you can write down the questions in your notebook and uh, these uh, questions you are supposed to write down and uh, be prepared with come on write down the questions now why was the narrator why was the narrator surprised to see mrs darling wearing her mother's cardigan why was the narrator surprised to see mrs darling wearing her mother's cardigan darling d o r l i n g darling wearing her mother's cardigan or i can put this question in another way how did she confirm that she had come to the right address both ways it can be okay right why was uh, the narrator surprised at seeing mrs darling wearing a mother's cardigan or how did she find out that she had come to the right address okay what was the address the girl was supposed to remember what was yes what was the address the girl was supposed to remember 46 markani street okay and it's markani what did mother tell the narrator about mrs darling why was she taking their belongings away write down the question please you are supposed to write the answers write down the question yes what did mother tell the narrator about mrs darling why was she taking their belongings away please note down these are extra questions that i'm giving you okay extra questions there are hardly any questions over here in the text okay right do you think mrs darling had any intention of returning those things do you think mrs darling had any intention of returning those things write down the question then you write down the answer yes or no please write down why okay do you think mrs darling had any intention of returning the things or simply don't shake your head just like that write down the question you're not writing anything i bring a notebook here come and show me get up and show me a notebook let me see your questions come here right 
Where are the other questions? Show me. You say, uh, share the same notebook and you have the same handwriting. Too many coincidences. Too many coincidences. What happened when the narrator visited the address the second time? What happened when the narrator visited the address the second time? What happened when the narrator visited the address the second time? Why was she horrified to see the room? Why was she horrified to see the room? Mention a few things. Next question, come on right fast. Mention a few things. A few things Mrs. Darling had been using. Mention a few things that Mrs. Darling had been using and those who did not belong to her, right? What did the young girl have to say about the antique plates? What did the young girl have to say about the antique plates? Why was the narrator looking for a burn mark on the tablecloth? Why was the narrator looking for a burn mark on the tablecloth? The burn mark, burn, B-U-R-N, burn mark on the table cloth. The narrator had decided not to take those things. The narrator had decided not to take those things. Then why do you think then why do you think she told the young girl about the silver cutlery? Why do you think she told the young girl about the silver cutlery? The narrator had decided not to take those things. Then why do you think she told the young girl about the silver cutlery? She, should, should, she could have thought, okay, forget it. I'm not going to tell them. Let them find out on their own. So was it a parting shot? Was it there? She wanted to have that sense of satisfaction, making them realize, right? How they're misusing the things. She wanted to show, tell the girl that I know about these things, right? Do you think the young girl was aware about what her mother had done? No, she was not aware about, okay? So fine here, one question from the text that you will definitely write that how is this story a comment on war, right? This, yes, the last question you will do that this is a predicament of war, okay? So, right, so you will do these questions. Fine. Any doubts, any questions regarding this?